I am back with another boost. Do, do, do. I'm super excited. Okay. Today, let's go. Welcome back to another episode of the In Raw Life podcast. This is Jessica here with you this week with another boost episode sharing one of our absolute best work life balance, time saving, time efficiency resources that we have put together for free. So you'll be able to grab this resource that I'm talking about in the show notes, so make sure you go and check that out. And the resource that I want to share with you today is our 11 easy habits that are missing from your day and keeping you from checking off your to-do list. And on top of all of that, checking off your to-do list and enjoying the heck out of all of it. (laughs) Because that's what we're all about. We're enjoying, we're all about enjoying the heck out of every single day of our lives, no matter what your day throws at you. So I'm not gonna go over all 11 habits, that's for you to go and check out the document, Um, but I'm gonna give you my top three that spoke to me as I was gonna come on here and speak to you guys today. So the first habit is, because honestly, at least 30% of the women that reach out to us with questions or asking for help or support, whatever their question is, my answer is usually this, <laughs> you know, 30% of the time is this, boundaries. I know this is like a huge buzzword and it sounds so nice to have boundaries, but how do we do it? Or, oh, it's too hard to, people need me, blah, 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 blah. You have to give yourself permission to say no to things that don't serve you and then actually say no. I know it's crazy. I mean, there can be people that you, that are above you, that are below you, that are your best friend, that are your family, that's your grandma. But if it's not something that is an absolute heck hell yes, then you might have to say no to it. I mean, obviously there's a million different situations, but if you are feeling like you're not getting to do your things because you're paying attention to too many other people's things, even your kids, you guys, like it's okay to say no to your kids or something that's for your kids so that you're serving yourself and feeling yourself and making sure that you're then able to take care of those said kids. So saying no is hard, I know. We're all a work in progress. Heck, Sierra and I are a work in progress. We don't always say no when we wanna say no, but we're getting better at it. And the more that we say no to those things, the more often that we're able to say yes to the things that are actually fueling us and fuel our purpose and make us feel so good and warm inside every single day about the things that we are actually doing, even when they're for other people sometimes. Like, it's not like you have to say no to everybody about anything that's not just for you. It's saying no to the things that aren't working for you. So if you want more information on how to say no, we do have some trainings and boundaries. We do have some trainings that we've done in our group, Work-Life Balance for Empowered and Stoppable Women on Facebook. So of course, go and join us there. That will be in the show notes. Um, And then you can reach out and say, hey, you told me about this training, Jessica, um, on how to have boundaries or how to say no. And I will be happy to tag you in those trainings. And then, of course, that's what we help our students do as well. We cover that in our course, in our program. So if that's something that's interesting to you as well, make sure you're reaching out to us um, in our Facebook group. Or you can always reach out to us on Instagram at inrawlife.co. And we are happy to give you more information on that. So boundaries, saying no, just find like within the next 24 hours, something comes to you. Even if it's just you seeing an event that's really exciting to you and nobody's asking anything of you, but you're like, hmm, is this event something that's going to fuel me? That's going to serve me? That's going to help me on my way or not? And if it's not, say no to it. The next thing is, and this is, this is so big for me. This is like one of my like secret sauce things is planning for downtime. So what I mean by downtime is not like that beautiful unicorn white space that you find where you can actually have time to yourself and like chill or whatever it is. Now I'm talking about those things where as a mom, I sit in car line for an hour a day typically, or after school activities, I'm in the car or waiting around for her, or you find yourself at the DMV, like you had to make a DMV appointment and it's taking forever, or you're waiting in the doctor's office because you know there's always at least a 15 minute wait. <laughs> if not more, while you're at the, your you know scheduled appointment. Anything where you have you know scheduled downtime where you know you're going to have some extra time 
and you feel like you're going to get behind because of it, you don't have to. Plan for that time. Like literally say, okay, I'm in car line for an hour at this time. I'm going to spend half of that on a work call and I'm going to spend another half of that catching up on this um, project that I'm working on. Or I'm going to spend half of that time having some me time and reading a book that I enjoy and the other half scheduling social media. Um, whatever that is, whatever that looks like for you or, oh, I have the DMV today. There's potential that I'm going to be waiting around for 30 minutes or less. Like don't, then you want to set something that you know you can fill that time with, like answering emails or whatever it is, but that you don't absolutely have to get done in that time because you know you just never know how much extra time you're gonna have with the DMV. Um, but you can plan things that you can get done during those times. I mean, we have, we have phones, you guys, like they, you can do so much from them now so that you can work remotely in different places so that when it hits five o'clock at the end of the day or whatever your end of day is, you're done and you've checked everything off and you feel freaking amazing about it. So planning for downtime is huge. So you can knock these little or big tasks out while you're doing something else and or waiting for something else that's planned into your day. Um, like this literally is what saves me so much time. It gives me so much extra time at the end of every single day where at 5.30 at the latest, I walk away from my desk, I, I turn off you know, the computer, I turn off my WhatsApp notifications, I don't pay attention to work things that potentially come to my phone, and I'm cooking and hanging out with my family, and even giving myself me time. So, huge, you guys. Make sure that you're seeing any little pockets like that that are possible for you to plan what you're gonna do during those times, including if it has nothing to do with work, even if it's just that's where you schedule your time for you, reading a book, um, reaching out to a friend, sitting in silence, whatever, whatever fuels you. And then my last one is having an accountability partner or partners. So having someone to check in with to keep you on track with the tasks that you are struggling to accomplish. Sometimes all it takes is having someone else that's an outsider that's not necessarily... Um, you know, like the outcome of whatever it is that you need to do doesn't affect them. So that one, they can have zero emotions attached. They can just be like, hey, what's going on there? Hey, like I'm checking in. Did you do what you were saying you're doing? And you can do it for them. Or like a whole group of accountability partners where you're, you might not work, be working on the same exact project or you might be, but you're able to say like, keep checking in and say, hey, I'm struggling with this. Any advice, any insights? Hey, I, this really worked for me today. What's working for you guys? Um, just, hey, like, are we meeting our, are we meeting what we said that we wanted to be doing? Like, who's, who's doing great? Who's not feeling great? But having someone to check in with, and especially if they're emotionally detached from your outcome, is so helpful because it's this different perspective. It's a sounding board. And they're, they're just there for you without caring about the outcome of what you're doing. They just care that you're getting what you want out of it. And they could even help you see like what's working and what's not working and maybe move in a different direction, whatever it is that you need to do. And that is something that we are really, really big on. Our group, like I said, Work-Life Balance for Empowered Unstoppable Women is basically a huge group of accountability partners. And then even better, our program that you can enroll in if you are interested, make sure that you reach out, um, is again, a group of accountability partners because we have a training course portion of videos from us and then we have the actual private Facebook group where everybody gets to come together. They're going through the same course at the same time, or they might've already been through the course and then the new people are getting to chat with them. And you get to like be there together and say, oh my gosh, this was so cool. What a cool insight that I learned. Or, oh, I didn't even realize that that was something that I could have learned from this. Um, so just having, having a group of people, having your tribe of people that are vibing at the same, you know, roughly the same level and excited about the same things and wanting to make an impact on the world or whatever it is that you're doing is so special. And you get to create these cool new little relationships too, where you're working towards similar goals, but completely different goals and outcomes at the same time. And then you get to make this really cool community and tribe for life. So, Accountability partners are so amazing to help just get stuff 
done. And not enough people realize that they can reach out for help like that. I mean, you can even reach out to your sister or your best friend or your old high school teacher if you still have a relationship with them and be like, hey, I'm working on this thing. I'm having trouble hitting my goals. Um, would you be my accountability partner? Like, will you check in on, you know, however often that you need, you think you need, just to like keep me accountable to this? I just, uh, that would really help me. And again, like I said, if you are looking for people like that, come to us. We've got you covered. So that, those are my top three right now. Make sure that you go and um, get the, the actual whole document. It's a one page Google doc and it has a little checklist that you can like really check it off for yourself and be like, wow, like now, okay, I've added this habit and work towards it because you don't have to implement them all at once. This is yours that you get to keep and get to kind of come back to and check off the things as you're being able to add them to your life. So that is our 11, three of, or 11 easy habits missing from your day and keeping you from checking off your to-do list. Make sure you grab that in the show notes. It will be in there. Make sure you go ahead and grab, grab, join our group work-life balance for empowered unstoppable women, because we would absolutely love to have you closer into our community. And if you're loving these boosts and our episodes, make sure that you, that you're sharing the episodes with others that you think could benefit from it. Make sure that you are subscribing to it, or if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe to the channel and make sure that you're giving us some love, like rate and review so that other people get to get this information too. The more that we can spread it, like imagine if you gave it to one other person or shared it or your review impacted one other person and then they did it and they shared a review and that impacted one other person. But like that can multiply so quickly so that we are living in a world of like healthy, balanced, empowered, excited, energetic people. That is what we're here to do, especially women, because that's our particular community. So thank you for joining us today. Thank you for joining me today. I love you guys. I can't wait for you to get your last free resource of this month, our little boost that we're doing. Hope you're enjoying your holidays and we can't wait to get into the new year where we are going to be sharing just our absolute best work-life balance, time efficiency, time management, enjoying the heck out of life, tips and tricks on the podcast here on out. Bye.